Tommy Prince, y'all. Hmm. Handsome guy. Who doesn't like a man in uniform? October 1915. Tommy Prince was born in a canvas tent in Petersfield, Manitoba. One of the 11 children born to Harry and Elizabeth Prince of the Broken Head Ojibwe Band. He was a descendant of Peguis, a Soto chief. Prince was a survivor of the residential school system. Prince was a superb tracker and marksman, which he learned from his father, who was a trapper. Prince applied to the Canadian military several times and was also rejected several times. Indigenous people faced widespread discrimination at this time. This probably played a role in his rejection of the military. He was finally accepted in the early years of the Second World War. June 3rd, 1940, Prince enlisted in the Canadian Army. He was assigned to the First Field Park Company of the Royal Canadian Engineers. By 1942, Prince was a sergeant with the Canadian Parachute Battalion, posted to the 1st Special Canadian Service Battalion. He was among a select group of Canadians sent to serve with an American unit to form a specialized assault team. They became the 1st Special Service Force. 1st SSF, also known to the enemy as the Devil's Brigade. Prince distinguished himself and set himself aside with the skills that he learned on his reserve growing up. Once, when a communication line was severed over enemy lines, he disguised himself as a peasant farm worker and worked the lands around the house over enemy lines. His bravery and actions resulted in the destruction of four German tanks that had been firing on allies. Summer, France, 1944. Prince endured a grueling trek across rugged terrain without food or water for 72 hours. Returned to the Allied position and led his brigade to the German encampment, resulting in the capture of a thousand German soldiers. When the fighting ended, Prince was summoned to Buckingham Palace. King George VI decorated him with a military medal. The Silver Star Ribbon, the 1939-1945 Star, the Italy Star, the France and German Star, the Defense Medal, the Canadian Volunteer Service Medal, and the Class and War Medal. Talk about a brave man. 